We've got an exciting day ahead. We are off early to, in fact, I'm gonna keep that bit a secret, but I'm heading down to a product warehouse today to test out some unreleased gear. So, yeah, it's gonna be good. I need to get on with this two and a half hour drive, so I'm not late, but I'm gonna keep you guys posted. Stay tuned. Look at this Ashdown people. Exciting things coming. Am I still in good? Yeah, yeah sure. Cool. Ready. So this is me for today, I'm up in the Ashdown headquarters filming for some new demo videos. So I'm not allowed to show you guys too much right now but there's some cool combos and studio amps going down right now and when the products are released you'll get to see the videos. Sense. And you got like a couple, it's like yeah. NS spaces. Yeah, there's a, a five string NS and a weird four string Dean upright, which is <laughs> a bit of strange. Um, and then yeah, all the photography and then we do a load of different videos in here as well. I like that. Different spaces, different corners, so I do different videos. So against that wall or that corner, so yeah. I've got different spaces so we can switch up a little. Yeah, it's a whole um, lot of amps, isn't it? Yeah. So what's the typical like turnaround on an on an amp build? Well, um, we import um, of finished goods around about a forty foot high cube container every other month. Okay. Into the UK. Yeah. Um, and that turns, generally speaking, every sort of thirty to sixty days. Obviously, certain products stay longer than others. Uh -huh. um, Eight tens, for example. Um, <laughs> yeah. They're not a quick mover anymore. They um, sound amazing, but they are. transporting them, unless you've got the team exactly. or someone else to carry the gear. And even with that, <laughs> I mean, the, the weight issue that comes into play these days, yeah. it's still an 810, just uh, B-stock and stuff that we've accumulated over the years. Mm -hmm. um, it's been since 1997, so it's kind of a, a historic backlog. A lot of this stuff's on, on our B stock store on mm -hmm. eBay and stuff. Right, right, right. Jeez. <laughs> um, because of all the exhibitions and shows you end up doing around the world. Yep. Yeah, quite regularly we do the NAM show. We don't do Frankfurt anymore because it's not what it was. Uh -huh. And then, yeah, so everything from lighting to trussing to drum kits to flight cases. The garden furniture. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, it's good to be on board. Yeah, uh, we're a little family business and it is kind of important to us, the people that we work with, to look after everyone, really. That's it. That's it. what our family's about and there's only nine of us in the company, so with that, it kind of makes us a little bit more dynamic. I know it sounds a bit backwards to think that a big corporation like uh -huh. Might be a bit slow on a response or such. Yeah, it is because it's just a big machine, isn't it? <coughs> but with us, if you email in or call in, you'll get one of us. I didn't think Ashdown was such a like yeah, tight knit. 
little family business. business. Yeah, and then we have storage and spare parts and such. Next Makes door. sense. Keep the heat in. Yeah. Well, turn that radiator down while <laughs> I still remember. So, I finally got back to Reading after my day in Ashdown headquarters. Now, I left school at 16 with straight A's and A stars with the idea of going into sports, maybe sports science as well and personal training. So for me to do music was a big, big curveball, really, curveball decisions. It only came in within the last year of me studying GCSEs. It was just a big decision to make. Like actually deciding to leave the grades and more tried and tested pathways to go down something known for being a little bit more unstable. I guess if I think about it, my dad's probably one of the people I've kind of wanted to impress the most. And that's been hardest to impress. So we shall see what his reaction is. He already believes in, he believes in this now. After I showed him the first BBC contract, he was like, yeah, okay. But, yeah, it's just amazing, really, to see how something can change over time so much. The, the hours you put in, the work you put in, the work you do for free, long hours, can begin to pay off. And it's more just about the different doorways different doorways and pathways that are opening through these different opportunities. So it's just the start of a lot more and we'll take it from there. Remember, I also remember writing down, like I remember at the start of my uni, I wrote down my goals on a piece of paper. I wrote down about getting a new base. I wrote down, it was three things. There was one about playing a festival and I did that within the first year. And then the final thing was getting a scholarship, which I got right, literally right at the end of my degree. It was coming up to final performance time. And there was a competition for a scholarship that was going to be marked around the final performances. And at that moment, I just kind of knew. Like, I instantly went back to that goal I wrote down two, three years ago. And I was like, it's a sign. Like, I've got to do it. And long story short, I ended up getting that scholarship. And towards the end of uni, I wrote down a few goals that I wanted to achieve like from leaving uni. One of those was an endorsement and working with like a base company. And I kind of forgot about it for a little bit. But it's just funny how it all works out. Like putting the stuff out there, like actually saying, saying and writing down, you know, what it is that you want. You know, you're putting that energy, you're putting that those words out there. And over time, it comes back to you. Now, over time, it just works. Like, obviously, you have to work for it to work. I'm going to have to go, go in and rewrite some goals. Clearly, because it's working. It's working. Writing goals has been the biggest thing that's kind of helped centre me, really. And then journaling, I've just started just started probably about a month or two ago and I don't do it every day which I should but just journaling like what I'm grateful for how things have gone it's just good to get it all out of your head and then down onto paper or or on your phone or whatever but just getting it out of your head and being able to look back at it to, to see kind of the journey which is what this channel is about as well this channel is about documenting the journey which I've not been documenting a lot of really at all but it's coming back it's coming back so yeah we'll head inside and bring in my box of goods so i've got an ashdown package right here just catching up on your landers fan jam see if i get oh yeah there we go Yes, I've got my box of Ashdown gear here ready to unbox. Let's see what we've got inside.
have actually already opened this so you can tell I was down there in the office filming so they handed me a few things got a t-shirt right here this one say not all heroes wear capes some of them play bass baby yeah I'm gonna wear this one later drop me a message as well if you guys want any of this sort of stuff what else do we have got an interesting app here to show you guys so Ashdown they're now doing headphones as well which I was not aware of I was not aware that Ashdown did headphones but these ones are magnetic so I think they stick together so that they don't get tangled and all of that good stuff so I'll be checking these out over the next couple of days seeing what they sound like should I open this up? yeah let's open it up taped up here there we go just slide this out get a box like this let's see what we've got inside so it's one of the flat cables, stop them tangling. And there's like inline controls as well. So it's got a mic in it. Yeah, this looks good. I'll be interested in checking out what the sound quality is like on these. Let's see if these really are the magnetic that they claim. Yes. So these ain't going lost. They're not getting tangled easily at all. If you're tangling them, that is a you problem. And it comes with carry case. Yeah, you've got a few different earbud selections to choose from. Yes. I'm gonna see how these go. It's actually a really small size as well, the case. Sometimes you get headphone cases and they're a bit big and bulky. This is easily a pocket job and it's quite secure too. This next piece is like a headphone app. Uh. So here's the headphone amp. It's worth trying this out guys. Tone Pocket A18 at the checkout for 20% discount on the OV1 headphones so check those ones out guys if you're going to check out some headphones these are a good stop they're my next ones that I'm gonna hopefully be trying out along with a couple new things in development inside a cardboard box and then we get the beauty get your little user manual comes in a lovely sort of satin velvety case and then the box itself it's a good looker it feels great too the controls are actually really well damped right. it's a good resistance to it <laughs> it sounds funny but yeah it just feels like a quality product I think I'm going to try out my next couple Base video covers using this and see what sort of sound we get. If the sound differs at all, and how much it differs using a product like this over, say, just standard interface into Logic for a quick video shoot or practice, and then also how it kind of compares to the Roland Go. Different purpose, but used in the same way. I could very much see myself using this for Instagram covers. We've got the mini USB to USB cable going on there. It comes with an aux, which is good. A lot of these things don't come with aux, so that's good. You've also actually got a power box inside as well. So I believe you can charge it. It's got a rechargeable battery inside that charges via the USB cable. or you can run it straight off mains power. So you've got a good couple of options there. Also has a line out, so you can record straight out the USB into your laptop, and then it's powered as well. 
So yeah, excited to see what this tone pocket is going to be like. But now, it is time to get onto the big reveal. This is a big box that I've been given. So there's obviously another goodie inside to check out. Now, all of this stuff I hope to get proper test videos done for you guys, but I'm going to include a couple clips from when I sat down with this amp for the first time. And so I was just surprised to be honest. Like you can get a great high end out of this amp and it's got a beautiful low mid as well. So often we as bass players will go straight to boosting bass, 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 bass. And then the problem is we get a boomy sound. Now when you've got a good low mid often what we want to boost is actually the low mids if you start with boosting the low mids and then go to bass you get a much warmer rounder sound that cuts through more it gives more punch it gives more not not punch weight more weight to the sound and it then isn't overly boomy either because often you can be shaking the windows by boosting bass but not actually be getting the tone you're looking for and I found that with a lot of active basses where the actual preamps aren't all that usable or they're difficult to use and get a good sound from which is why I love the size stuff so much but this has a great low mid in there as well but let's pull it out Yeah, yeah. So, 300 watt combo, 112. And here again, it's a beautiful low mid that I was talking about. I think this was the last setting that I used for more of a warm R&B like sound. With a DI out, you can connect it up to a second cab. And you've got the tweeter here as well. So, the gear as well is light. It's, it's a one hand jobby. Easy. Yeah, it feels well put together. I'm going to be testing this out at a gig tonight. So we'll, we'll see what it, how it performs live. I used it in the studio for recording. But we'll see what it sounds like live in action yeah just so you see around it it's a small amp that's my hand for reference on the back we've got a headphone out so you can practice silently which is always a plus we've got a second speaker out as said and then mains power and it's wedge shaped so you can either have it flat, rock it back here. So yeah, there's many different ways you can kind of put this amp down. That's why it's got the feet on both sides. Yeah, like this, or like this. And of course you've got the VU meter which Ashdown is known for. So I'm really looking forward to testing this stuff out. It's going to be the start of many more stuff to come. So how I actually got into Ashdown, into working with Ashdown is a good story. Because I was working at a BBC Introducing event with ACM and I noticed there was a bass stand with a bass guitar there and I said to my friend who plays electric there was an acoustic guitar sitting there and I was like listen there's a bass out there with a bass acoustic guitar amp let's sit down and play and long story short we started playing at this Ashdown booth and yeah, people were paying attention and the guy running it Dan, who was at the event from Ashdown, started taking out his phone and recording some stuff. So he actually live streamed it to the Ashdown Facebook page. 
Now, I'm gonna see if I can pop in a clip here because it's on a live stream. It's on a live stream on their page. So, if anything, I will attach the link in the description below so you can check that out yourselves or pop in a clip here. But we did that and we kind of exchanged details after that. And then, yes, yesterday was the start of a good journey. So, you'll be seeing more Ashdown related stuff from me and I will be putting it through its paces. It's going to be interesting to work with them in the future on the upcoming products, new releases, and also good in some of the product development and stuff as well. So I'll be able to get feedback directly to them. Man, Ashdown is a great company too. It's UK, they're, it's a small family run business. So I met the team, I met the guys, lovely people. They genuinely care about the music, which is the main thing. So yeah, I'm just happy to get to be a part of something that's more than just a faceless company, you know, actually be able to help grow and shape something that is, like there's real people behind this, you know, and you get to meet them, you get to meet them. The lovely people care about the music. So it'll be good to see, it'll be good to see. But anyway guys, that's me because I need to go. Yeah, I need to go. But I'll see if I record any of this gig. If not, till next time.